what is a leopold matrix now when we focus on any project that has to be started for environment what do we think about first my first question would be if you are establishing a dam what would be its impact on the nature and that's what is a leopold matrix nothing more nothing less it's a matrix that helps us in predicting the impact of any feature which has been brought onto the environment this concept was first laid down by leopold now when when Leopold brought this matrix, he brought the concept under two axes, the horizontal axis and the vertical axis. On the horizontal axis, he pointed out the actions that can lead to environmental impact. So what would be the impact on the environment? There could be runoff, there could be uh, loss of fertile soil and so on. And on the vertical axis, we consider the various environmental conditions. So this could be soil, this could be the texture of the soil, the porosity in the soil and the various actions which could be affected. So soil, water, air could be the various dimensions. So on the vertical axis versus the horizontal axis, we have the various parameters. Now basically when Leopold first laid down this concept, he brought in 100 factors which were on the horizontal axis and 88 factors which were on the vertical axis. So how many combinations? So 88 into 100 that means 8800 various combinations and impacts that could be studied so that let's say if we are planning to bring in a dam into a region what could be the environmental impact so i can have 100 horizontal factors and 88 vertical factors and create a set of 8800 impacts that could be registered onto the environment but that is too far what we usually do is we try to keep a balance so somewhere we have a balance of 30 to 50 parameters which are taken into account and these are the typical number that we understand in a leopold matrix so leopold matrix is basically a tug of war it's a tug of war between the impact and the importance for the environment so if I am saying we are bringing a dam, what is the impact is one side, it would be harming the uh, environment, but on the other side lies the importance. So it's a kind of tug of war and understanding and assessing which is more important and balancing it finally is therefore important. Let me uh, take a very simple example which Leopold gave. So Leopold basically uh, the uh, the concept that was laid down by Leopold was that there is a stream. Now a stream when there is when when it is moving it is altering the erosional patterns of a specific area. So if this stream moves in this direction it would alter the erosional pattern here. If the stream moves in opposite direction it would alter the erosional patterns here. But the magnitude of the erosion could be different based on the rock structure based on the soil. Its impact could be different in each of the areas and also its importance for the environment would vary. So for some sections it could be more important for the other areas it could be less important and therefore this idea was initially laid down. So importance of Leopold matrix to sum up again is to understand the impact on the environment, the various factors and the full range of factors as laid down by Leopold were 100 into 88 which is 8800 factors uh, which can have a significant room for a subjective opinion by the experts. A simple example of a Leopold matrix is here. Now in this matrix we have the horizontal axis and the vertical axis. Vertical axis are the project actions and the horizontal axis as we mentioned are the characteristics and the conditions. Now each of the box within this matrix is diagonally divided. When it is diagonally divided and separated you have two sections. One is the magnitude the other is the importance. So each factor would have a magnitude would have an importance. So magnitude and importance. Now the assessment of the magnitude is done on the factual information. We know how much 
much impact it would have. But the assessment of the importance has some idea for subjective element. My subjective analysis, my opinions could be part of that importance when I am focusing on the project importance. So if we say uh, Narda uh, project has to be built. Now when we have the Narda uh, River Valley project that has to be brought, there could be the magnitude which is obvious, which is factual that there would be rehabilitation of the people, there would be impact to the uh, people, there would be uh, numerous land would be clear but there is a subjective side and that subjective side is importance so the opinion how important it is and this opinion set is something which is very very important to understand so we have taken a very simple example how do we read a matrix now in this matrix we have the various activity for example it could be dam construction reservoir filling a metal discharge fishery or a heterogeneous uh, landscape and the environmental impact could be uh, on the other side and then we try to read this matrix so this two dimensional matrix is basically trying to access uh, assess the uh, environmental concerns and the impact so this is done on a three factor basis first as we talked about in the Leopold matrix, not just the simple matrix that we have shown right now, the previous one to it, the Leopold matrix. We first mark the diagonal in each of the section, then we mark the magnitude and the importance. So magnitude is the scale of action and the importance as we said is the subjective element. Each of this can vary from 1 to 10, 1 being the least, 10 being the highest. So when I say 10 uh, in section of magnitude, it would have a magnitude of 10 that means a very high magnitude. When I say importance of 10 it would have a very high importance of 10 now again this could be negative or positive a negative value would show a negative impact a positive value would show a positive impact so evaluation of this impact is again essential and important so for example in this ca uh, categorization we have minus 3 which is written here so it shows a negative impact all the remaining values here are positive that means they show a positive impact so understanding whether it is negative positive is again important when it comes to the kind of environment issues that we take into account as we mentioned it could be uh, the soil water air the physical conditions it could be the biological conditions the flora the fauna the ecosystem of the region or it could be the socio cultural conditions that means the land use the, uh, the tribals being displaced, the population, the economy of the region. So all those issues are the issues which would take into account on the vertical axis. On the horizontal axis, we uh, focus on all the activities. Now this could be construction, this could be water supply, energy supply, raw material, uh, the processing limits, the gaseous emissions that could be seen, uh, the, uh, the liquid discharge which could be seen, the effluents that could be seen. So all those are on the horizontal axis. So understanding the various characterizations, how Leopold matrix and this device and why we say this is very very essential before we start with any uh, project pertaining to environment. So a significant part of environmental impact assessment very very important before you start any project which has environmental concerns.